JT Show. What's going on, Smashers, and welcome to another episode of the Smash JT Show, my weekly episodic adventure discussing divisive issues in the video game industry and beyond sometimes. It airs every Friday, and like always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, smash that like, hit the subscribe, the bell for notifications, and let's just jump right into it. For this week, we got to talk about game streaming. Now, obviously, the talk of the town is Google and their streaming service they announced at GDC called the Stadia. It's divided people quite a bit, where some are interested in seeing what comes of it, and other people are saying, no way, no how am I swearing off my physical merchandise in order to stream a future of video games. With that being said, though, it's not limited just to Google. There have been reports coming from US gamers stating that Wall Walmart themselves, yeah, the shopping center, is now considering entering in the on-demand battlefield in game streaming. US Gamers said that the big box retailer has been talking with developers and publishers about a game streaming service since at least earlier this year, 2019, and is continuing those talks currently at 2019's Game Developers Conference in San Francisco. It's not clear to anybody what Walmart is planning on doing with this online streaming service with games or how games are even going to be integrated with it and how well it's even going to work. Now Walmart isn't completely new to this kind of service. They did buy Vudu, which is the on-demand download and stream movie service which has been moderately successful, but nothing groundbreaking, and it's been having a lot of trouble making inroads against companies like Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. There's a lot of competition in the space, and it looks like Walmart is trying to jump the gun to be one of the first in game streaming in the modern era, so that they don't fall behind like they did with the movies and Netflix and Amazon Prime and Hulu and all the other services out there. On-demand game streaming has become quite the popular topic in the video game industry recently. And while game streaming started about a decade ago with services like OnLive that just were not successful, the technology was not there to support it, it's come a long way since then. And with Google talking about how they're streamlining all the online infrastructure to reduce lag, come out with a Wi-Fi controller to reduce lag, and all these things they're doing to make the computers manipulate everything so that it works as flawless as possible, technology has come a long way. Walmart is trying to get a piece of that pie. I'm not really sure how they're going to do that, how successful they would be in trying to do that. I think personally it would make far more sense for Walmart to try to join forces with someone who's already big and already established and share some of that pie instead of trying to start a game streaming service from the ground up. At least that's how I feel about this situation. Just the idea of Walmart being in video game streaming is funny to me. This is a company that has proven time and time again that they cannot handle technology. Hell, some of the employees at Walmart say the apps that they use don't even function properly and they work for Walmart and those apps are made for employees at Walmart. If they can't get the apps working right, I don't see how we can look at a company that focuses on groceries and other items for sale and say, yeah, they're going to be a technological powerhouse when it comes to online game streaming. It just doesn't make sense. But I've been proven wrong before. I'd be very interested to hear where you guys stand on this situation and Walmart trying to join the online revolution of game streaming and trying to get out front of the issue so that they're one of the pioneers in the next generation game streaming. Like I said, I don't see it happening, but I'd be very interested to hear what you guys think about this entire game streaming battle, who you think is going to win, if anybody's going to win, or are they fighting a fruitless battle that is not going to be successful because there are too many complications that are going to be hurdles getting in the way that will stop anything from being successful. I've heard a lot of people give very valid reasons as to why online game streaming is not ready for the modern era yet. Things like Super Nintendo wondering about data caps from ISPs, internet service providers. 
Are they gonna raise them so that people can game more? Or are people gonna run into some serious blockades because the data caps are gonna be met and they're gonna be paying way more money out the nose just to stream these games and play them? It's just a very complex situation that Google didn't give many answers for. And unless Google gets into becoming their own internet service provider, which I don't see happening, they're gonna have a lot of obstacles to overcome that they didn't even mention at the Game Developers Conference, not to mention the price, not to mention how fast these games are going to work and if they're all going to be available and what's going to function with what. There's a lot of unanswered questions with what we do know already coming from Google. So I'll leave it right there. There's a lot to dissect with this. I could talk for two hours about it and still not even get to the bottom of it, but I'll leave it there. Let me know what you guys think about the game streaming battle and the stream wars as we know it. And moving on to this week's smashing game of the week, I am completely hooked on a game called Reverie Sweet As Edition on the Nintendo Switch. This game is completely epic. It's like Earthbound and Zelda had a baby and it's beautiful. It's amazing. I thought it was going to be all Earthbound based on the graphics, but then when I started playing it, it was basically Zelda action, real-time fighting, just like Link in The Legend of Zelda, but the graphics are beautiful. The storyline is engrossing, and the game itself is just fun to play. At the end of the day, like I say all the time, if you can find a game that's fun, that's really all that matters. And Reverie Sweet As Edition on the Nintendo Switch definitely deserves some recognition. So if you're not familiar with it, check it out. Let me know what you think about it. And that's where I'm going to leave this week's episode. Again, I want to say a special thank you to all the Patreons that help support the channel on a monthly basis with their pledge. If you're interested in joining them for as little as $1 per month, I'll put a link to my Patreon right there. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I'll put the link right there as well. Hit the bell for notifications. Like I said, this airs every Friday, along with a slew of other videos that I put out during the week. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, you stay smashing!